Yes. Good morning, my dear friends. Sorry, it is already 12 o'clock. I have to say good afternoon. There was uh, no power supply. Now I am starting. Good, good afternoon, my dear friends, my dear students, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. Welcome to VR. It is 12. What day is today? Today is Monday. What date is today? Today is October 12th. What day is today? Today is Monday. How did you spend your day yesterday and day before? Or you can ask like this. How did you spend your two days? How did you spend two days? That is on Sunday and Saturday like that you can ask. Otherwise you can ask. How did you spend your day yesterday and day before? I'm going to clock. So yesterday and day before anywhere because it was training continuously. I didn't go. I was at home reading newspaper, reading some magazines, watching some movies, listening to some uh, lectures on TV, <coughs> having food and I relaxed for some time. It was very good. So I enjoyed a lot because two days I didn't go out anywhere. So I relaxed. Now coming to yeah. At what time did you have your breakfast? Or at what time did you wake up today? Today I woke up at 6.30 and I had my breakfast at 8.30 or 9 o'clock. I had idli with chutney. I had dosa with sambar. I, anything you can say. I had pongal. I had beaten rice. Avalaki. Avala. I had lemon rice. Chitrana. I had tamarind rice. Pulyodre. Yedadu Solana. Friday, he taught us about something about homophones and some of the vocabulary words. What is he going to teach today? Today you will teach the same, some abbreviations, some short letters, some abbreviations and the expansion of that. <coughs> and I have got a list of homophones also. ATM means any time money or all time money. So the expansion of ATM is automated teller machine. Automated teller machine. SMS means short message service. SMS means short message service. Now coming to PIN. P -I -N, P-I-N, PIN. has got two expansions. One is personal identification number. Your PIN number of ATM card or your debit card or a credit card, whatever it is. That is called one pin is personal identification number and one pin is postal index number, something like that, 560092 and the Madhuri. So 56 is for Bangalore. It keeps on changing from place to place. That is called postal index number. <coughs> now coming to, <coughs> yeah, tax, but still most of them may not be knowing the expansion of PAN. PAN means permanent account number. Permanent account number is issued, issued only once. Okay. If you are lost, if you can something like that, you can go for one more thing, duplicate. But PAN card is issued one once. Now coming to CCTV. You can see the cameras. You can see the cam CCTV camera. It is not CCTV camera. Those cameras are called surveillance camera. And the corner of the camera on the the surveillance camera. CCTV on the cabin owner. It will be seen operated by the manager or the head of the institution or whoever it is or the concerned person. CCTV means closed. Yes, I am. SIM means card. Do you have a SIM card of the phone? Which SIM card do you have? Do you have a SIM card of Airtel? Do you have a SIM card of BSNL? Do you have a SIM card of Vodafone or Idea or Geo Abid Gagrab? And the SIM, the expansion on the term, subscriber, subscriber identification module. SIM, the expansion on the term, subscriber identification module. Upper on the term, www. www means World Wide Web. www means World Wide Web. So that is about the internet. ISKCON. Most of them might have visited ISKCON temple. One is in Mumbai, one is in Hyderabad and one is in Bangalore. I don't know whether it is there in Chennai or not, Tamil Nadu. So ISKCON means it is the name of the temple. The expansion of ISKCON. Most of the people might have visited the ISKCON temple. 
might have seen and come back, but they may not be knowing the expansion of ISKCON. ISKCON means International Society for Krishna Consciousness. I-S-K-C-O-N. I-S-K-C-O-N means International Society for Krishna Consciousness. I stands for International. S stands for Society. K stands for Krishna. And C-O-N stands for Consciousness. So ISKCON means International Society for Krishna Consciousness. Now coming to yeah, SSLC. SSLC it is in the state syllabus up to that is called, called the grade 10. You should not say 10th grade. You have to say grade 10 or 10th standard. SSLC means secondary school leaving certificate. SSLC means secondary school leaving certificate. Coming to ICSC. ICSC means of, it is of Delhi. <coughs> it is a little bit Certificate of Secondary Education. ICSC means Indian Certificate of Secondary Edu Education that is also equivalent to 10th standard or grade 10. One more thing is that CBSC. That is all the standards. That is all of the syllabus will be different. SSLC syllabus will be different from ICSC and ICSC syllabus will be different from CBSC. All of the grade 10 or 10th standard. CBSC means Central Board of Secondary Education. CBSC means Central Board of Secondary Education. Now coming to <coughs> MBBS. What is the expansion of MBBS? The correct expansion of MBBS is Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery. Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery. One more expansion is there for OPD. OPD you can see only in hospitals. You cannot see OPD in anywhere else or educational institutions or any offices, you can see that OPD is outpatient department. Outpatient department means a patient goes there, a person who's, who is sick or who is injured, has got some health problem, he will go to the hospital, he will go. So you will not be made to get admitted in the hospital. If you get admitted in the hospital, you become inpatient. You become inpatient. Outpatient means you take the suggestions from the doctor, you take the advice from the doctor, you get tested in the hospital and you come back home. That is called outpatient department means that means no patient will be allowed to stay there. Uh, I mean, yes, and not be knowing it. Everybody will be thinking it is the expansion of managing director. Of course, it is also expansion of managing director. If you want to do higher course, if you want to do post graduation in medicine. So after MBBS only you can do that is called you cannot operate. You will not do any operation. You will examine the patient's health condition and you will prescribe some medicine. So that is what he is not authorized to operate because he doesn't know. He has not specialized in operating. So one more course is there after MBBS. Either one you can take. You can take either MD or MS. MS means Master of Surgery. MS means Master of Surgery. He is an authorized doctor. That means he a very big list. So there is a very big list of surgeons, something like cardiac surgeon. ENT surgeon, neurosurgeon, orthopedician, pediatrician, or something like that. A big list is there. A big list is there. Unit. It is a special care will be taken for the patients who are very serious. The patients who are in very serious condition, special care will be taken to that institute. So that is called unit. That is called ICU means intensive care unit. Now coming to IMC means IMC means Indian Medical Council. The council is there. They will have a meeting. They will decide what to do, how to treat the patient, what are the tablets have to be prescribed, what are the tablets have to be banned. So it, they have got the authority, it is in New Delhi thing. So IEMC means Indian Medical Council. And Indian Medical IMA also is there. It will be in most of the district headquarters, something like that. IMA means Indian Medical Association. No homophones. Coming to homophones. Homophones, I have got a list of homophones. Why I am this? The spellings are different. The spellings are different, and the meanings are different. But the spellings are different. Meanings are different. But the pronunciation will be the same. Those words are called homophones. So this is very very important in English. This is the third day I am teaching. You should know about this also. Coming to none, n o n e none and n u n none. N o n e none na yar me kedi aadhe. None were come. None had come yesterday. Yarme vandhindile. None is present in the class today. Yarme illa nartho. 
N O N E. One more nun is that N U N. N U N is called what? N U N. N U N is called the the lady who is not married, who is never going to get married. So he will be in her spiritual way. So, for example, Mother Teresa was a nun. Most of the nuns are there in churches and all. They will not get married. They will be in a spiritual way. The only nun is said only for the female group. Nun is said only for ladies. The other gender of nun is monk. M O N K monk. Something like uh, something like <coughs> Shankaracharya, something like Mahavira or Swami Vivekananda. All were monks. They never got married. They are not goes in the spiritual way. He is called a monk. The the man the man is called a monk. The lady is called a lady is called nun. N U N nun. Now coming to one more. What is bay? And one more bay is there. B A L E. B A L E means bundle. A bay of cotton. A bay of thread. Bay means bundle. One more means bay means he. So that a person who has committed a crime, he will be in jail and he will be allowed to visit his family or for some other ceremony. So, in under the condition that he should come back without doing any problem, he should he should not create any problem or he should not commit any crime again. So, based upon the condition, he will be allowed to come out of the jail on bail. That spelling is B A I L. Okay, excuse me. Got it? Yeah. The second one is yeah, I told you bail means bail is an order. Bail is an order issued in the committed a crime who will be in cell or jail. He will be allowed to come out of the jail for few days or one day or two days, whatever it is, under the condition that he should not ever do anything wrong or commit any crime or any problem. It's called the bail. B a i l e. Sorry, B a i l. B A L E is the bundle, the bale of cotton. The next one is allowed. A L L O W E D. Allowed. Allowed means the past tense of allowed. He is allowed to go inside. He is allowed to come in. They are allowed to play. They are allowed to sit here. They are allowed to study in that. They are allowed to appear for the exam. They are allowed to work here. Something like that means allowed means giving permission. The past tense of allow is allowed. One more allowed is there. A L O U D allowed means. कुंजी जोर चोल दे. Speak allowed. He spoke allowed. Speak allowed. I can't. A L M S. Arms means giving something to the poor. It can be in the form of. It can be in the form of things. It can be in the form of gift. It can be in the form of food. It can be in the form of clothes. It can be in the form of utensil. What are these? Arms means. Anything are part of class. Those are called arms. A L M S. We I gave some arms to the poor. Once again, I'll say I gave some arms to the poor means A L M S. Arms means anything. It can be in kind. It can be in clothes. It can be utensils. It can be in the form of money or it can be food. That is called giving help to the poor. Is called arms. So coming to arms, A R M S. Look at that. It is not arms. Arms. Arms means weapon, a pistol, something like gun, something like bombs. Those are called arms. A R M S. Arms means weapons. Now coming to bore. B O A R bore and B O R E bore. The I N G boring is boring. Boring means ear boring ceremony, kaad kutra ceremony. Bore well. You dig a hole. Making a hole is called bore well. Be big. But the card panni ki boring chodrango. In the board kani under spelling putting lana. The spelling in the spelling putting lana. It will be a very big mistake. B O R E means drilling. Make a hole. Sir, this class is boring. So they drill. They are drilling a. They are they drill a bore well in my house in our area. Like that you can say. The one more bore is B O A R bore means that is called the wild pig. Look at the spelling. 
B O A R is wild pig. B O R E is make a hole or drill. Udid. B L O W. A pastel of blue is blue. He blew a balloon. He blew a bl balloon. One more thing is blue. B L U E. The color. The color. The color of Vip Gaya. There are seven colors. Vip Gaya means violet, indigo, blue, yellow, orange, red. Okay. So these are all the seven colors of the rainbow. One of the colors is called blue. The sky is blue in color. I am wearing a blue shirt. He is wearing a white shirt like that. You can see B L U E is the name of the color. One more blue is B L E W. That is the past tense of blow. He blew the balloon. He blew air from her from his mouth. Who did do it? Blow and chota. Okay. How much thick hair? Sir, how do you need to solve it? This is a canvas cloth. C A N V A S. We put a canvas cloth in the car, something like a carpet in the car. Or something like that in the house and all. It is a rough cloth. It's called canvas. C A N V A S. One more canvas is there. C A N V A S. And the canvas on the tree. I'm canvassing oats. So now, canvas on the tree. You go and request. You speak to the people. You speak to the people. It's called canvassing. C A S E. C E A M S E. Cease fire means stop. Cease the <coughs> cease the operation means. You have to stop the operation. You have to stop the operation. You should not go anywhere. Cease means stop. One more cease is that. Yes, E I C D. That cease is catch. He was seized. The culprit, the thief, was seized by the police. The vehicle was seized. He was caught. The vehicle was seized because he was riding or he was driving in a wrong direction. He was driving on the right hand. He did not. He did not stop at the signal. He did not have a driver. Only the police has empowered. Only the police has got power to seize the vehicle. Or the banks also have got the power to seize the vehicle if the regular installments are not paid. One or two installments are like that. If you are not paid the EMI, easy monthly installment for months together, the bank has authority to seize their vehicle. Okay, till they pay the loan. Something like that. <coughs> so coming to <coughs> yeah, coming to diary and diary. Diary, diary means you make a note in the diary so that it will be there for a long time or it will be there permanently. You should not strike it. Whatever you do today, you di diarize. They say you write it in the what was the day on the particular day, what you did on the particular day. It is always good to maintain a diary. Not like that eating, sleeping, and all. You should not write. Some important events you have to make a note in the diary. That is called spelling is called D I A R Y. One more diary is there. D A I R Y. That diary is where the milk is supplied, where the milk is sold. That is called diary. D A R Y. That is called where milk is supplied. So one more thing is now coming to disease. D I S E A C. That disease. One more disease is there. D E C E A S E. One disease is yes. It is the nature of the disease. Typhoid is a disease. Cholera is a disease. <coughs> Malaria is a disease. Disease under the no. So lots of medicines are there to cure the disease. And look, you will get no. You will get no one there. Look, any disease is called. That is the spelling is D I S E A S E. One more disease is this. That means he is dead. He is a diseased person. This person is diseased. It means that means he is dead. That disease is not dead. Actually, it is something like examples of diseases: typhoid, cholera, malaria, dengue, chikungunya, and COVID. Typhoid. That is, you give a name for the disease. The any so many a big list of diseases are there. That you give a name, then you say that is it is a, that is the ailment of a person. Some problem with the person that he is suffering from the R M E R. The farmer he is in the village. The farmer sows the seeds. The farmer grows crop. The farmer grows crop for us. Okay. One more farmer is there. F O R M E R. F O R means previous. Who was the former president? Who was the former prime minister of India? Manmohan Singh. Who was the former chief minister of Karnataka? That is H D Kumar Swami. Before Sridhar Maya, like that farmer means earlier. 
before he came. So Jailalita was the former prime minister, chief minister. Before that, M. G. Ramachandran was the chief minister. Like that, you can say. Now coming to yeah about the farmer foul f o u l foul foul smell there in thronier or a rat might have died or some animal might have died foul smell na ka ketta vasana and the spelling of it f o u l that is called ketta vasana in your foul of it w o f o w l one it foul means it's a bird f o on the male bird is called foul f o w l the female bird is called hen so aan ka aan kunji ko vandit foul appdin solranga f o w l innor foul vandit ketta vasana f o u l here here is a foul smell here appdin solranga now next one coming to goal g o to enter into politics my goal is to become a big business person my goal is to open an orphanage edo do something like the other meaning of goal is aim my goal is to open an orphanage my goal is to eradicate poverty in india or something like that my goal is to change the education system if an education minister speaks my goal is to change the education system in the schools and colleges what it is happening now is not right or something like that one more goal is g o g o e l and the goal you know on the trip yes g a o l goal and aka j He has put in a he has put in a goal means you know that jail prison or cell you can say custody. At this spelling parango only yet to yet to put chilla chana ka it gives a different meaning. G O A L goal is A G A O L is jail. Now coming to hut 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 H E R T hut one more word is that H E A R T H E R T hut one that is. The male ah uh, an man ko solr the the male d is called heart the female is called dear only the male d is called heart h e a r t heart so look at the spellings are different but the pronunciations are same he has got a heart problem h e a r t where is your heart is it on the right or to the left and and earthworm earthworm has five hearts earthworm has five hearts. Or something like that. You can say earthworm has five hearts. Octopus middle. It is not on the right or to the left. There is a heart beat. His heart beat is low. His heart beat is more something like that. If the heart beat stops, the person will die. The person is no more. He will not be alive again. So that is called heart beat. And one more thing is about the heart. The first thing to be grown if a baby is there in the womb of the mother. If a small baby is there in the womb, mukh sar kai saran solo bada. It is the heart. It will start beating from the very beginning till it will be there. It will be it will be working till the man is alive. The heart will be working till the man is alive. The the sound of the heart is said like lap tap, lap tap, lap tap. The heart beat is viewed. The heart beat is. The heart beat is seen through stethoscope. Doctor will be wearing his stethoscope. The heart he will check your heart beat. Actually, it should be seventy two times per minute. Lap tap, lap tap. And the mother seventy two times. That is the so stethoscope is used to check the heart beat of the children or heart beat of the person. Even if the baby is in the mother's stomach, also the doctor can check the heart beat of the child. Okay, this is about the heart. H E A R T. So <coughs> coming to a heel. H E E A L. H E means that his injury has been healed. Na, but today the wound is there. That is called. That is called. It is cured. The past tense of cure is cured. C U R E D. One more heel is there. This the part of the foot. Heel is there. Liya ka. Kal padam. And the padam ke heel is chodro. Sole or heel. Padam ko under heel is chodro. The spelling is H E E L. In no heel, one that is nalla word. H E A L. Now coming to heard. I can't hear you speak properly. I can't hear you speak properly. The past tense of hear is heard. H E A R D. I heard a loud sound outside. I heard the sound of the dogs barking. Now I call it the I heard the sound. 
இன்னொரு ஹேர்ட் வந்துட்டு ஹெச்சி ஆர்டி வந்துட்டு ஹெச்சி ஆர்டி காட்டில் மாட்டு மந்திக்கு சொல்றாங்க ஹேர்டு ஹெச்சி ஆர்டி தெர் இஸ் ஏ ஹேர்டு எ குரூப் ஆஃப் அனிமல்ஸ் எ குரூப் ஆஃப் கவுஸ் பஃபலோஸ் எ குரூப் ஆஃப் கவுஸ் பஃபலோஸ் அண்ட் புல்ஸ் இஸ் கால் தி ஹேர்ட் ஹேர்ட் ஆஃப் கேட்டில் அப்படின்னு சொல்லுவாங்க that the spelling on the te h e r d now coming to ya <coughs> coming to lesson yen vera vera tha the spellings are different pronunciation is the same but meanings are different look at that l e s s o n lesson means i want to learn this lesson have you learned this lesson in the paadatha padichingla lesson ella paadam did you read this lesson yes evlo sentences pannalam paadam have you learned this lesson in paada padichirringla did you read this lesson in the paada padichingla no sir i didn't read this lesson today i will take up this lesson today i will teach this lesson e s s lesson ana ka kammi avudu lesson means it is less it has become lesson lesson it means kammi pannu lesson the sound of the tv lesson the l e s s e n vandu less L E S S O O N number the pardon. Now coming to yes, personal and personal. P E R S O S O N A L. Personal and private. That is my personal problem. So tomorrow I won't come to class. Tomorrow I won't attend the class. <coughs> I have some personal work. He has that personal problem. That personal problem is not compulsory. That he has to disclose only when it is he close or. it is something like that if you feel like disclosing you can disclose otherwise nobody will ask you what is your personal problem personal problem has, should not be disclosed yarko sonnu nu onna illa kattayam kediyadu sollala sonnalum paravalla i am not going to office because i have some personal work i have some personal work that you he is not he is not willing to say that now coming to personal p e r s o n n e l personal means official he is the police personnel he is the cbi personnel he is the account personnel means the people who are working in the concern department is called a person a person can be a government employee or a per- private employee personnel means it's a person he is also a person important most of the students may make this mistake excuse me so one more word i have written that quite q u i t e one more quite is there q i t e is complete i am quite happy i am quite comfortable under it i am quite happy i am quite comfortable the spelling is q u i t e one more quite is there the meaning of quite is calm serene silent this place is very quiet don't make a noise be quiet keep quiet under the q u i e t innor quiet vandute that is complete i am quite happy q u i t e don't get confused with the spellings if you mistake if you just simply say in the putting i before t if you put after t it gives a different meaning if you put that e before t it gives a different meaning if you put that e after t it gives a different meaning look at that both are quite spellings are different pronunciations are the same but meaning is entirely different most of the students go wrong there so yeah now coming to next is might m i g h t might the past tense of me is might possibility he what is the difference between me and might anaka irkalam ana doubtful doubtful sollala ibdiyo sollala abdiyo sollala rendum thappille it may rain you are right it may not rain also you are right you are just guessing he may not be at home it may rain it might rain mala vandalum sartha mala varlanalum sartha 
the sentence it is doubtful may and chonna be doubtful yolo percent doubtful or 50% doubtful might and chonna ka 75% doubt is may might m i g h t the past tense of me is might he might be at home he might be not at home he might have reached by this time in the near tukulo avan poi sendirpa he might have reached the examination center by this time he might have reached the airport by this time he might have reached the railway station by this time he might have he might have borrowed money or he might have deposited money by this time he might have withdrawn the money by this time he might have finished the work by this time irkalam and solrudhu but adu vandittu doubtful ah solrudhu maybe true or not might na romba romba kammi chances are very very less so may is 50% chances so coming to one more might is there m i t e the first might is i told you now m i t is a small sum of money a small sum of money might a small sum of money that is called bedroom abin solukona a small sum of money or it is maybe a verb also you call it as a might coming to check and check oh, look at that c h e c k check i want to check your room i want to check your uh, drawer please open it so they have come for a check up i have gone to the doctor for my body check up செக் பண்றது எப்படி இருக்குது என்ன இருக்குது அப்படின்ட்டு ஒன் மோர் திங் இஸ் செக் சிஹெச்இ கியூயுஇ சிஹெச்இ கியூயு மீன்ஸ் த பேங்க் இஷ்யூஸ் எ செக் புக் டு யூ 25 லீவ் செக் புக் 100 லீவ் செக் புக் 10 லீவ் செக் புக் லைக் தட் சோ when you write the check and put your signature when you present to the bank the bank people will pay you cash so in order to now atm is there but now it has become very easy nobody uses the check book for a business purposes most of the people use this check so it will be something like a authority or guarantee everything will be a record in the bank issue me a check of 2 lakhs issue me a check of 10 lakhs checks cannot be by a bought from the stationery shop from outside check is issued from the bank or by the bank and then the bank the other check will go so when you present the check write some amount the cash will be in cash so that is called the check that the spelling of that check is c h e q u e you know whether now look at that w h e t h e r whether you know whether 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 the w e a t h e r whether one whether is if please let me know whether he is coming please let me know whether the shop is open please let me know whether there is a bus please let me know whether he is sitting there w h e t h ana if under the artham innoru vandittu about the condition weather condition eppadi irukku iniki weather condition iniki nelama eppadi irukku how was the, i told you i have told this in my previous classes also how was the weather yesterday weather is for the day climate is for the year i have told many times in the class this you should always chill sir it was raining it was cloudy it was sunny it was bright eda dichulla it was very pleasant anaka avlo sudo illa avlo kulur illa nalla irundhuchu that is called the pleasant weather you should not say for the weather it is bad you should not say it is good yulo sollana good to bad nu solave kudadu today the weather is very good today the weather is very bad and solave kudadu you can say pleasant you can say as it is iniki weather eppadi irukudhu adhe maadhi solunga today the weather is cloudy it is sunny it is warm it is cold it is chill is andama it is raining it is drizzling abin chulla don't say the weather is bad today abin chollave kodadhu okay so the weather the spelling of that is w e a t h e r w h e t h e s is different that is called if we coming to cast and cast my boat i want to do it i want to say yes i want to go and say put a mark cast means my privilege c a s t c a s t cast i casted my vote for congress i casted my vote for bjp and the madri that is what go and cast your vote is poorer than put friends 
sorry, caste C A S T. Schedule type. Which caste na? In the jati karan darto. C A S T. Scheduled caste have got privilege of 15% in government services, and scheduled tribe has got 5% of privilege in the government central and also for promotion. Caste, which caste do you belong? C A S T E. You know what it is? I casted my vote like that. I know. Now coming to oh. <coughs> vacation means holiday. What is your plan for summer vacation? What is your plan for Dasara vacation? What is the plan for winter vacation? When get vacation leave, I want to go to. I want to spend my summer vacation in Shimla. I want to spend my winter vacation in Chennai or something like that. You can say vacation and now on the holidays. You know vocation in the V O C A T. Look at the spellings. And the O part is called vocation. Slight difference in the pronunciation. At the vacation, it is vocation. V O C A T for fifteen days, <coughs> one week or one month or two months. Short term vocational course of learning. It can maximum. It can be for three months. Vocational course. V O C A T I O N. It is <coughs> yes. Petrol. P E T R O L. It is extracted from the crude oil. Crude oil extracted. What three quantities or four quantities are been extracted from the crude oil? How do you get crude oil? That some five hundred or thousand years before. How do you extract? How you get crude oil? How the crude? How do you get crude oil from the ground? Maybe ten thousand feet, twenty thousand feet, or thirty thousand feet below the soil. You have to go under the ground. This crude oil is extracted from the decayed matter of plants and animals, buried some five hundred years or thousand years before. So what happened? They extracted from the ground. So it has been refined. At the clean panrang, naal vagma clean panrang. One is called white petrol. One is called white petrol. That is called pure kerosene, used by the flights, used by the planes. One is petrol. One is diesel, and one is kerosene. Wait, we use for in the house for the stove purposes or for cooking purposes. Stove use panrang. The the crude oil is extracted from the ground. It will be purified. One is white petrol. One is petrol. The white petrol is called kerosene. One is petrol we use for two wheelers, four wheelers, cars, buses, and all. And one is diesel. The last one is called kerosene. We use for household purposes, for cooking purpose, for stove. So this is this is refined panrang. So that is our would be petrol. <clears throat> Now coming to P A T R O L. Look at that. P A T R O L petrol. Petrol means the police are patrolling means it is watching. Watching means going here and down, seeing. They are observing. They are patrolling means going on a watch. Abhi paathen porango. Yena na ingen gerke the. They are the police are patrolling this area. The police are patrolling the town. Patrolling means they are keep on going. They keep on going on rounds and watching what is happening. So that is called patrolling means keep moving and watching. Okay. <coughs> the spellings are the same. Look at that. Spellings are the same. Watch and watch. Spellings are the same. Pronunciation is the same, and the meanings are different while writing in a sentence. Clearly observe. W A T C H watch. One more watch. W A T C H watch. One is a noun and one is a verb. One noun, one verb. I am wearing a wrist watch. What is the time by your watch? What is the cost of your wrist watch? This watch is very nice. Give it on TV. Please pay. Spelling is same ta. Ana meaning others. You have to identify which part of speech. I am watching a cricket match. I mean, Nirko, do you watch series on TV, Nirko? This is so. I am watching a cricket match. Do you watch series on TV? Do you watch news on TV? That watch is a verb. Anga vandiri. It's a past of speech. It's called a verb. 
this what is a noun it, it is a thing it is a thing inga thing anga vandu paakrathu so look at you you enjoyed this class very much about i told everything about some of the expansions of small letters means short letters means it is in the short form this is the expanded form and some which were spellings are very very important in home of if you write a different spelling for a word which is doesn't suit it will give a different meaning or it will give no meaning at all okay I repeat this <coughs> once again i repeat the expanded form atm means auto pin means two expansion personal identification number one is postal index number and is permanent cctv means closed circuit television and one more thing i think i didn't write <coughs> closed circuit television the camera which is kept outside is called surveillance camera s u r v e i l l a n c surveillance camera www world web wide sorry world wide web iscon international society for krishna consciousness sslc secondary school leaving certificate puc means somebody, most of the students have seen writing puc as pre university college it is not pre university college it is pre university course after sslc you go for puc that is called you have to study for 2 years they say plus 1 plus 2 then only you can go for the degree immediately after sslc or icsc or cbsc you cannot make, do a degree you can do it in correspondence course not not in a day course not in a day college day college means 10 standard 12 standard that is 10th 11 and 2 living certificate you will get a certificate for 10 years 10th standard or you should not say 10th class 10th standard or grade 10 you should not say 10th grade so these are the english my son is studying in grade 10 my son is studying in sslc like that you have to say coming to icsc indian certificate of secondary education interrupted power supply and like i think it is UPS. When there is a power shortage, when there is no power supply in the houses or offices, so this is called something like a battery. It will take up the power within few seconds, maybe two or three seconds, or maximum five seconds. When the power goes up immediately, it will switch on. So it will be the backup will be there for three or four hours, depending upon the size of the battery what we use. UPS is uninterruptible. uninterruptible power supply ups and mb mb means doctor of medicine ms means master of surgery icu means something about the medical terms only intensive care unit and imc means medical association the doctors day is celebrated on july 2nd or something like that so next of the homophones have written here i have clearly explained about that i hope you enjoyed this class very much because why home and phones are very very important because spellings pronunciation is the same same spellings are different meanings are different don't get confused by saying you can say but while writing you should be very very careful in home and phone so this is the third day and about the newspaper cuttings readings yes i hope you enjoyed this class very much now i shall stop here i shall see you tomorrow at the same timing meanwhile have a nice day May God bless you.